what's up? Welcome to your general reading for May. So this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and I'm not going to focus on any one particular area. We'll just see what wants to come out. If you are looking specifically for a love reading, those are already posted for this time period. Just head back to the channel. Um, this may turn into one. I don't know. We'll see. As always, this isn't going to resonate for every Taurus out there. It's not possible. You're not all living the same lives. If it doesn't resonate, just check your other signs or check out one of the other awesome readers on here. Okay, guys. Um, so for me as a reader, the overall energy is always the person that I'm reading for. Everything else here is interchangeable. It can be for you or your surrounding energies or someone close to you. You know, all that good stuff, right? All right, so your overall energy from the Gospel of Aradia Oracle. You have La Luna. And I'm actually doing this late. Sorry about it, guys. Um, yesterday was a full moon in Scorpio, so that might be significant for you guys. It is your opposite sign. And that particular full moon is all about um, endings, new beginnings, transformation. All right. Okay, everything has its cycles. Energy waxes and wanes, so respect the fact that you cannot be at full power all the time. Be grateful for what you have today rather than feeling disappointment about what you do not have. Set new intentions for what you would like to have. Magic is real and you can use it. All right, so you guys, you guys might have some work to do with the moon here if that's your thing. It is mine, so that's the way I'm gonna talk. <laughs> all right, um, if you're someone who works with moon energies and whatever, then this is going to be a big deal moon for you guys. I mean, it's a big deal moon for everybody, but you can really use it. And you need to understand too, if you're feeling, you know, kind of off right now, that's okay too, right? Um, because what we have with that is the king of wands reverse. So this is like a lack of energy, lack of motivation, drive, ambition, um, you know, not really feeling like much of anything. And that's your energy, guys. Clarify the King of Wands reverse for Taurus. Why is the King of Wands reverse for Taurus? Judgment. Okay, that's karma as well. Same card. Um, so... With that coming out with La Luna here, and this being right after the Scorpio, the Scorpio full moon, which is all about endings and beginnings, um, death and resurrection, that's exactly what judgment is, right? It's something being resurrected to be reevaluated, right? Something like something coming back from the dead. So it's a situation in your life where you thought something was done but it's really not so now you have to look at it again um some kind of some kind of karma and it's not necessarily a bad thing it's not reverse so it's just you kind of making a final decision on something or a final judgment call um it can also be you needing to use good judgment in your life right now like you're with the king of wands reverse here you're not you're not very goal driven right now um, yeah, and it might be because you're just working through some karma or, you know, you're just tired for some reason. So that's okay. No big deal. Right. Let's figure out what's up here. All right. Your recent past guys, eight of swords. This is air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So in your recent past, that's a feeling of being trapped in a situation, but it's, it's like a mental prison, right? It's, being stuck all up in your head um it's fear it's paranoia it's stress it's like i can't get out of this situation i'm bound to this situation but you're not really you never were it's just it was all in your head right you could have gotten out of it anytime whatever it is for you even if it's just your own thoughts driving you crazy okay you're present you have the four of pentacles so this is being really closed off so being closed off emotionally but it can also have to do with finances like if your finances are off right now <clears throat> you're probably being really strict with your finances right really holding on to your money really tight let's clarify clarify the four of pentacles for taurus 
clarify the Four of Pentacles. Oh, thank you. The Knight of Pentacles reversed. Oh, okay. So this is both your energy, right? Four of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, so it's like you're being really closed off or someone around you is. Um, and I think that I really just think that this has to do with finances. So there's like nothing happening for you right now. Like financially, home-wise, whatever. It's like you're stuck. You're not seeing any forward movement. You're just stuck. So you're really like holding on to your money. And it's probably just because the way things are going in the world right now. But let's see. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles reverse. The Taurus. Whoa. That is way too many, guys. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Taurus. Why is the Knight of Pentacles reversed for Taurus? The Five of Swords reverse. Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So that's one that you want to see reversed. It's coming out of conflict. So there may have been, you know, some kind of conflict around you that had you not wanting to move forward, had you kind of stuck, or the other person. Um where you were just kind of sitting there not doing anything just you know holding on to your money or closing off your heart if this is love for you um you know or someone that you you were dealing with was because there was conflict but that is getting resolved the conflict is going away but now it just feels kind of like a stagnation makes sense in your immediate future you have the nine of cups reverse wow i just realized how beat up this card is this is my very first deck ever um so super super old um anyway the nine of cups reverse is water cancer scorpio pisces it's lack of wish fulfillment it's discontentment dissatisfaction um but the thing with that is it, it's up to you to find your happiness, right? Whatever that is for you. If you're feeling discontent, find out why. Um, if you are dissatisfied with your life, find out why. And work on that yourself, right? Clarify the Nine of Cups. Reverse. could also be an energy of somebody like partying too much overindulging you know like drinking too much the wheel of fortune guys nice all right well I mean you might be feeling unsatisfied in the near future but things are turning around for you all right this is good luck this is something faded it's destiny it's like you know the universe moves everything moves in cycles right life moves in cycles it's it's a turning around for you um whereas it looks like there might be some financial issues right now or stability issues it is going to turn around and that might be why this is reversed it might turn around so much that you just want to party all the time <laughs> let's see clarify the wheel for taurus hmm the Queen of Swords reverse. All right, so that's somebody being really cold and detached. This is Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So watch out for this person. If there's somebody like this in your life, they're very cold, they're very detached. The Queen of Swords reversed is like emotionless, um, can be very, very harsh with their words, like Ooh, cut you the fuck off with no problem and maybe that's you maybe that's the energy that you're gonna be in maybe you're gonna cut something out of your life because you're just discontent with it and in order to do that in order to have the wheel you know turn back around in your favor you might have to cut something out of your life that just isn't satisfying um if that is a person though for you I just be careful they could be verbally abusive and that's never a good thing right all right, your potential obstacle, the Page of Pentacles. So Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So there's like no new offers of stability. If this is relationship for you, it's not a, there's not like an offer of an actual commitment. I don't think that this is relationshipy. this reading. I think that it has to do with stability and finances and there's just nothing. There's like a blockage um, as far as money and stability is concerned. If you're looking for a new job, 
a new home, you know, a new car, tangible things like that. There's there's a blockage here and it's probably just the state of the world. It's all temporary. Clarify the page of pentacles as an obstacle. The nine of cups. So you have the nine of cups reversed in your future and you have it as an as an obstacle here. So there's definitely like an issue with not getting what you want as far as tangible things, as far as finances, stability. Um, there's nothing really happening there. And that's a problem, obviously. That's going to be a problem for anybody. But it is turning around in your future. It is, I promise. There may need to be some things cut out of your life in order for that to happen. But it is happening. It is coming. Your advice. The two of wands. Pick your path. You're at a crossroads. You need to just pick which direction you're going to go with it, all right? Um, now, when I pull this card, I like to pull one on each side so I can see what these two paths are. Clarify the two of wands on the left for Taurus. Clarify the two of wands on the right for Taurus. <laughs> okay, on the left. One of your paths is going to lead to the Ten of Pentacles, your happy home, all of your financial problems going away. This is all the money, all the money, guys. It's it's major commitment if this is a relationship reading for you, but your finances look good. One of these paths is going to lead you to stability, whether it's a relationship or job, whatever. It's stability. It's tangible things. You're going to be okay financially. Um, home life's going to be okay. Now the other path, you're walking away from something or someone. This is walking away in disappointment, whereas like you almost got to your happy ending, but you didn't. You chose to walk away instead, and you chose to walk away because this other direction leads to commitment, stability, you know, all that good stuff, right? So it's going to be up to you. There's obviously something here that you're going to have to decide if you want to walk away from it because something else looks more stable to you or if you want to stay in something that might be kind of disappointing for you that's going to be up to you and I don't know what area this is for you it could be a job um could be a living situation could be a relationship it, it definitely looks like this reading though is having to do with finances for you or your home life you know all right, guys, take care, and I will see you in another week for your next love reading.